Yes. Yes is the answer to all of your questions. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. And if you're new here, which I expect this video, video to bring in some new people because it's Nirvana, this is not your typical reaction channel, okay? We review live performances. So even though I know Nirvana and I know this song, I have not seen this performance. And I also, start and stop, I know, don't freak out, and try to show you some of the guitar parts or things that I notice in the actual performance. So, with that being said, Nirvana was probably the largest influence in my musical life as that young, angst-ridden adolescent. Yes, I was that kid. This was my generation. When, when, when Cobain died in 92, I know a lot of you are gonna say this is complete BS, um, I was in second grade, and I didn't go to school for basically that whole week. And I know you're going to say, no, it's impossible. What about the parents? Who would let us do that? Who cares about... All I can tell you is that I cared deeply, deeply about music at the youngest age. And this had a tremendous impact on my life. Uh, not all positive, uh, to be frank. I hate I hate this microphone. Hit the button. Okay, again, you guys know I nerd out on this stuff a lot. God damn this thing. Pause, pause, ladies and gentlemen, pause. Okay, so, <laughs> Dave Grohl's a beast. This is how you do it in a three-piece. You gotta do a lot, right, in a power trio. So, it comes in, comes in. Again, sloppy, nasty, straight up power chords, Love it, love every piece of it. F sharp, right? And then to a C, right to a flat five. Hello, anybody out there, right? Four, flat three. <laughs> the audacity. The audacity. And then, and then you got Chris Novoselic back there just, just punishing the F sharp. And you get Kurt coming in with, that's a major third, everybody. But then going chromatically, just no regard whatsoever. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna freak out. I'm going, I'm going to freak out on this microphone. <sighs> okay. <laughs> no regard whatsoever to harmonic norms, right? A per this isn't like a progression. This is just creating extreme dissonance with three mighty pieces, right? So the drums, super busy. Bass crushing that single note F sharp and just letting Kurt just ascend into madness. I love this. I love how high Dave's kid is. Tempo moving. What? <laughs> 
killer song. And then it goes from B, right? Again, these are just power chords for the most part. B, clean, and then to D, a major third up, dirty. Very cool. There's something weird happening in here. I know that this is incorrect, but he's just pushing F sharp into A, up to B, down to A. There's 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 something else happening in there. It's 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 fudgier than that. Um, Love Dave Phil. Keep that hi hat going. Oh, hide that hi hat. See how he's doing the, the bass back and forth with his thumb? I mean, I guess you have to when it's so low slung like that. I mean, watch this. Doing, is he now? Is he picking with the second and third fingers on bass here? It's almost looking like he's preferring the ring finger. Look at the crew. Look at the crew. Do this. Matches, <laughs> matches the voice with that major third. It's so crazy. Bass comes in with the, the bass line. Dave doing the harmony? I mean, theory be damned. I love it. When you're a kid, there's something about being a teenager or like, you know, just over 10, but there's that magic window that whatever we hear that gets us hooked for life during that period, that's kind of, everything kind of comes after that. That's the foundation. That's the lens 
through which you view it all, you know, as you, as you age. And this totally brought me back to the who gives a shit mentality, right? It's, it's super aggressive, hard hitting drums. Check. Lots of fills, open hi-hats, incredibly aggro. Check, right? Driving bass that matches the guitar as a riff, right? Power chord riffs that completely defy conventional uh, harmonic structures, right? We're, we're taking a root and a fifth and we're just moving them at will. If it sounds good, it is good. Preach. And then his vocal melodies and guitar melodies uh, are so... <laughs> Stop dinging me. They're so <sighs> dissonant, but beautiful. And he only gets to do that because he's in a power trio. And the bass and the drums are just going to hold this slab for him to build something on. And, I mean... The main riff comes in one flat five, four, flat three, and then the first melody note he comes in and sings with it is the major third. Do a lap, do a lap, do a lap, come back. Get out of your head, learn it, forget it, use it, love it. If it sounds good, it is good. I spend so much of my life teaching because I struggled with music theory and I struggled with my ear and so I know that it works and it helps, but there's something about just being young, not being afraid, making a tremendous amount of noise with your friends and just not giving a shit. I love it, I love it, I love it, and I love you all. See you soon, cheers. What a wild video this is gonna be.